Yesterday I did a video showing you how to gain root access to the Galaxy Note 10 series after it had been updated to Android 12 and its One UI firmware. Now sadly I'm still seeing some people ask why they are not loading Magisk whenever they reboot the phone. Even though Magisk is installed properly, some people think that just because it wasn't loaded, that means it wasn't installed properly. So in today's video, I want to show you how to load Magisk at boot when using the Galaxy Note 10, the Galaxy S10, and any other devices that Samsung ships that does not come with a RAM disk feature. Now this missing RAM disk is the reason why the few devices refuse to boot with Magisk loaded into the system. See, with these devices, the Magisk developer needed to install the root binaries into the recovery partition. This has resulted in us having to boot into recovery mode before booting over into the Android operating system. Now, taking this a step further, I believe it was the Android 12 update that recently required some Samsung smartphones and tablets to require a connected USB cable in order to access these special boot modes like recovery mode. Now I've been using a USB cable that's connected to my PC, but I've seen others use a USB cable that's connected to their earbuds or a pair of headphones. I have tried a USB cable that was connected to only a wall charger and that was not able to trigger the requirement here. So use a USB cable that's either connected to your PC or one that is from a set of earbuds or headphones. So you can see right here we have Magisk and Magisk has been loaded properly because it's showing as installed. But let me give you a demonstration of what happens whenever we restart our phone without booting into recovery mode first. So if we are just booting into Android normally, it's going to go through the typical boot animation sequence. And it's going to boot us straight into the Android operating system without loading Magisk. So you can see whenever we open up Magisk now, the installed part is going to say NA because it is not detecting that the Magisk binaries are installed. Again, we need to not only boot into recovery mode in order for this to happen, but we also need to have a USB cable connected to. So here you can see I've connected a USB cable. Now I'm just going to power off the device. And after you feel that vibration, just wait a few more seconds to completely allow the phone to shut down. Now, once the device is shut off, we're going to be doing a couple of things. We're going to press and hold the power button and the volume up button. And we're going to continue holding those buttons down until we get to the boot screen. So you're going to see... As soon as you see that bootloader unlocked screen, we can let go of these two buttons and then allow the phone to boot into Android. And again, we're going to go through the same boot animation as before. And it's going to boot us right back into Android as expected. Except this time, when we check Magisk, 
you can see that it is installed again because we held down the buttons properly. Now to give you another demonstration, we're going to shut down this phone. So now here's a little trick that I've used to remind myself how long I need to press and hold these buttons. I personally do a three count. So as soon as I press and hold those buttons, about a couple of seconds later, you're going to feel the phone vibrate. That's when I count to one. Then you're going to see the phone, the, the screen change. That's when I count two. And then we're going to see the screen change a third time or a second time. And that's when I count three. And as soon as I finish that third count, I let go of all three buttons. So to give you a demonstration of that, we're going to press all three buttons and we're going to count along with each step that we see. One, two, three. And as soon as we see that three, then we can let go of the phone or we can let go of those buttons and allow the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus to boot into Android like normal. And just like before, since we did the button combination properly, we are going to see Magisk loaded, just as we would expect. So that's how we can load up Magisk on the handful of Samsung devices that do not ship with a RAM disk. Now remember, we need to use that USB cable and the button combination each time we want to boot into Android with Magisk loaded. You can still use your phone like you normally would without Magisk loaded. So if you end up having to reboot while you are out and you do not have a USB cable on you, that's fine. You just won't be able to use Magisk or those root apps until you get home or have access to a USB cable.